With the additional 500,000, we intend to serve nearly 400 more kids this fiscal year. Court-appointed special advocates of New Jersey was among the speakers asking the state Senate Budget and Appropriations Committee to keep the spending increase the governor proposes for the agency, more money than last year, to have more success in advocating for children. I reported those troubles to the courts and urged them to investigate. Unfortunately, Katie was being abused. As volunteers held signs, I am for the child, CASA volunteer Linda Blackburn described how she intervened, advocated for, and noticed the developing bond between a special needs girl and a foster family that initially had no intention of adopting her. My advocacy changed the course of Katie's life and led to her adopt uh, adoption by Ms. P. Advocates for fair school funding thanked lawmakers for mapping out a plan for full funding and then expressed offense. Working with over 100 under-aided school districts, I am appalled to hear that superintendents from significantly over-aided districts appear before you and attempt to rewrite the funding narrative without fact or substance. The president of Camden County College praised the Community College Opportunity Grant for making school more affordable, but asked for more. We would also ask you to consider raising the income eligibility criteria from 45000 to 77000 which is the state's median household income. This will allow more middle-income students to benefit from this investment. The senior VP of the Chambers of Commerce of Southern New Jersey said the state won't need a millionaire's tax if it switched public employees from platinum to gold health care coverage and then praised the governor's cost-saving initiative. I do want to start um, by commending Governor Murphy for identifying a billion dollars in savings in this budget. It was really refreshing to hear that he wasn't just looking to raise taxes. This hearing is taking place in Senate President Steve Sweeney's home district, and he wanted to remind folks of what the third district is up against. My district happens to be the poorest district in the state of New Jersey. You know, whenever everyone thinks poverty, they think Camden, they'll think Newark, they'll think Trenton. Well, this is a different type of poverty. It's called rural poverty, where you don't have transportation, you don't have, you don't have the needs. I mean, there's less support here than there is in other parts of the state. When we talk about we want more money for New Jersey Transit, I'm all on board. I just want some transit. Swinney is holding his own set of hearings on the state's fiscal condition called Path to Progress, but he insists lawmakers and the governor are much more on the same page with the governor's nearly $39 billion budget plan than last year when the two butted heads and in the 11th hour averted a state government shutdown. In Carney's Point in Salem County, Michael Hill, NJTV News.